Hi guys, so I really want to share in this video a ton of questions I get asked about my platinum blonde hair and I'll admit it's a lot of work and I'm a really low maintenance girl. I have a couple of tips that will make your transition a little bit more natural because I personally like the more natural look on girls. So, all right, my first tip, um, getting a really, really good hair mask. Um, I like to use coconut oil because the more natural, the less ingredients, the better. I usually kind of throw it in my hair when I shower. Sometimes I'll sleep with a shower cap on and like, or a towel. So it like really, 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 really gets in my hair. And I hate doing it because I hate feeling oily. And that will happen. You will get oily and it melts down your back. But then you know what? It's a catch 22. You get like moisturized on your back. Your hair is good. You're solid. So that was my first tip get a good hair mask, and I like to use coconut oil. I use another hair mask too, it's by Pureology. I'll link it down below, but I'm gonna advocate for coconut oil for now. My second tip, which is also a really frequently asked question, is how do I maintain the color? Getting a really, really good purple shampoo or a good purple balm to put in your hair will like alleviate any of the brass that you have in your hair which is really common, especially if you have really dark hair. I do. You can see my roots. So my hair easily gets brassy. And with platinum blonde hair, your hair gets brassy just like from being outside, the dirt in your hair, all the stuff. So that really, really gets rid of all that brassiness. So I start off by shampooing, and since it's purple, I just kind of leave it in my hair. And sometimes if I really, really need it, I'll um, put a little bit of purple shampoo in my conditioner or my hair mask and just leave it in my hair for the rest of my shower. But I find that purple shampoo just really helps keep my color looking really white or right now really silver. I feel like my hair is a lot more silver now. My third tip is to shampoo less. You don't want to be drying out your hair, so use a shampoo that doesn't foam. I use a product from WEN that Anna gave me, and oh my gosh, that thing is just amazing. I wish I had that when I had black hair, because that thing just makes your hair so soft. And I find with sulfates, it really, really dries out your hair. Try looking for no poo. They're called no poo. I know it's such a weird word. I swear to God, that's not like a word stumble. I think they're called no poo. I could be wrong and I will find out at the end of this video. It is no poo. It is no poo. Okay, good. They basically, it's like almost like a conditioner that you put in your hair and it just cleans it. Um, but I like to shampoo less and I feel less guilty when I shampoo because it doesn't foam my hair. I shampoo maybe, maybe twice a week, maybe once a week. I really try not to shampoo as much as possible. And plus I like the way my hair looks better after like five days of no shampooing. Fourth tip, get trimmed often, which I'm trying to grow out my hair, so I haven't trimmed in a while, but I desperately, desperately need it. But you know, I mean, no matter what hair color your hair is, getting trimmed often will at least make your hair look a lot healthier. And I find that with the platinum blonde hair, I get dry really fast and I get split ends really fast. I didn't even know what a split end looked like until I got platinum blonde hair. And then I look down now and it's just like, every piece of hair is going in different directions. So you gotta trim that off. Sometimes I'll do it myself and I'll just sit there and I'll like pick at every single split end. Fifth tip, your hair is a lot more prone to breakage. What I do is I, one, sleep on a satin pillowcase. Two, I finger brush my hair. And three, I don't brush it when it's wet. And I feel like all those things really, really help because I find that when I don't do those things, my hair is breaking off. So you just gotta be really, really, really fragile with it. And that was something I was not used to and that was something that was so foreign to me when I first dyed my hair. I'm like, why is my hair breaking out? And I'm pretty sure it's breaking out because there's no follicle on it. So yeah, that was definitely new for me, but now I'm used to it and now I'm really, really, really careful with my hair. Oh, and also don't tie your hair really tight. That also helps too. Um, there's not a lot of topical treatments that you can do to not have your hair break off. Just don't put a lot of stress on it. So my sixth tip is don't skip your appointments. As much as it's a pain in the ass to go to the hairdresser, which is something I don't, I, guys, trust me, I'm a very low maintenance girl. I do not want to like have to think about my hair every three to four weeks, but you gotta, you have to. And 
I'm about two appointments away from going back to my natural hair color because I'm like, oh my God, this is so, so much. But don't skip your appointments. Why? When your hair grows out um, and you bleach it, and you can bleach like this much hair, the hair that's not closest to your scalp will be a lot brassier and the hair closest to your scalp will be platinum blonde the way you want your hair color to look. So that leaves this really unattractive band that it's really hard to get rid of and really, really expensive to do. It's a lot of money to upkeep your hair, but if it's worth it to you, it's worth it to maintain those hair appointments. You don't want that band and you wanna keep your color looking on point, right? Right. My seventh tip is to get it done professionally. It's really funny story with that really quick is I went home to my boyfriend's house and I just went blonde and I was not showing him any pictures. I was just saying, hey guys, I'm going blonde. I come to his house and his roommate is in the bathroom bleaching his hair and I'm going, oh my God. So we're like comparing our hairs. I got it done professionally, sat in a chair for seven hours, seven hours. He did it in like three hours out of a box and we just sat next to each other. His hair looked awful. Don't do it yourself. Get it done professionally. You have to. The comparison between like his box, we use the same exact proof bleach as well. And his hair looked totally fried and mine looked pretty good for the first bleach. So definitely just consult with your hairdresser. Consult with my hairdresser. She's rad. I'll leave her contact information below. She does Asian hair right. And I think when you get it done professionally, they're a lot more patient with your hair. You have to slow cook your hair. You have to slowly bleach it. You can't just fry your hair at once. And I feel like if you're not getting it done professionally or if you're getting a really good deal on it, you really get what you pay for and you really wanna have really fried frizzle hair. I don't think so. All right, so now that you have your hair shampooed, you're taking good care of it, how do you leave the house with it? Well, that's my final tip, is just to use oil-based products. I've always liked oil-based products, and I'll definitely make a video one day on like all my favorite oil-based products because I use on my face, my body, my hair, my mouth, my everything. So I like to leave the house and throw some oil serum in it. It will keep it looking non-frizzy, and I don't really like to use balms. I feel like it sticks in my hair more, and it sucks it up. When you're styling your hair, you almost want like a dual purpose. Where you're styling your hair, it's keeping the frizz out and it's also moisturizing your hair at the same time. I'll throw down some links below and show off some of my cool favorite products, but having those products will hopefully keep everything looking A-OK. -okay. So those are all the tips that have worked for me. And again, I'm a really low maintenance girl and I would love to hear your tips too on how you've minimized your hair care product and your hair care regimen. Learning new ideas, seeing what you guys are up to and kind of implementing that into what I'm doing now. So leave a comment below, tweet at me, email me, whatever. I'll be there, we can talk, we can be friends. I'm cool, we're cool, you're cool. That's why you're watching. So if you like the video, actually like hit the like button and you can comment and subscribe. There's so many things you can do that I'm still figuring out about YouTube and those are some things that I'm sure you guys already know. All right, see you guys in the next video. Bye. Peace. Sayonara. <laughs>